We on? <laughs> We're on! Hey, hi everybody. So, Collings just came in. I have to tell you, we just finally got in some guitars. We got in a few Martins and we got in a couple of Collings and we're really excited about the Collings because they're so far on back order that it's really hard to find anybody with Collings in stock. They can barely keep up with uh, the demand. And even though Collings, um, let's see, they make the finest guitar. They just don't make any shortcuts. Uh, so making the finest guitars means getting the finest woods, the finest materials, taking your time, uh, placing your bracing right, getting your finish just right, and that is expensive. And so there are guitars where price point is a problem. They, you know what they want? They want a price point. Let's make a $2,000 guitar. These guys don't work like that. They're just trying to make the best example of the, of the model they can. This we just got in is a 001 14 fret, a relatively new model. So it's like a double O Martin with the mahogany back and sides, um, a Sitka top, and then, but there's little details like the pick guard is always beveled. And um, this is a, uh, uh, a relatively new model. <laughs> friendly about a double O in the size and how you wear the guitar and its voice is really focused and dry um, so it's easy to sing, easier to sing over this is a really loud it's just really complex there's a good strong mid-range in there one and three quarter nut a really dark ebony uh, fingerboard and bridge ebony is getting harder and harder to find you'll find a lot of manufacturers are saying we just can't afford to put good black ebony on guitars. We have to have some flaws in the wood. And you're gonna see that more and more where Collins is just getting only the finest of whatever they can. So this just came in. This is about $5,000. I'm, I'm guessing it's about 55 with a case. And um, this is interesting. And if you're a fan of, of this voice finger stylist, you're gonna love this guitar. But wait, there's more. This also came in, I've got a few things. I'm just gonna highlight two. This is an OM. Now you guys all know this, but the OM size and the triple O are exactly the same. The guitars are exactly the same, except the OM compared to the triple O is a bit longer. The scale length is about the width of a human, of a man's finger, right? So with this little extra scale length, what you get is more projection. The OM orchestra model is meant to project in an orchestra setting. So with an OM and this longer scale length, you get more power out of it. And you can hear with that guitar just like With this OM2, uh, this is Rosewood. And just like Martin, the one on Collings indicates mahogany. The two designation, just like Martin, indicates rosewood. And um, this is a book matched back. Uh, and this is, is this a T? I believe so. <clears throat> it is a herringbone. So the options on here are the T. T designates traditional. Traditional is um, uh, protein glue, animal hide glue, and traditional is the thinner sides, the thinner top, and a guitar like this, like an older guitar, is just really lively. You're really, when you hit a string, you really are generating a spot. It's under a lot of tension, and that's what you want. Uh, obviously, if we made the top really thick, it would be um, dead. And so making this in, you know, making these thin sides and thin top and thin back is what makes these pre-war instruments really alive.
get it to open up, even with a light pick and a finger style, you're going to get this guitar to open up for you. It is a really good balanced sound with a definite bass to it. The other double O is a little drier sounding, a little more brittle sounding, and both are great guitars to sing with, comfortable guitars to play. This having the herringbone trim, we've discussed this before, anytime you see herringbone trim, the bracing is always scalloped. So the bracing is scalloped and the top vibrates more. So here we are with two guitars, one a fairly simple plain Jane 001 14 fret, and then this one is one of their most popular models, an OM2H Sunburst. And this is, these outsell their dreadnoughts right now. So here's a guitar that we submit for your approval. And I uh, got a few more coming in. I got a couple more videos for you. You stay posted and I'll go back to what you're doing. Thanks a lot.